Well, <laughs> this is the part three to edit, but so yeah, so learn God's principles and then do them and, and you'll be blessed. Nothing can stop you. These things work like gravity. They work like physics. They work like, you know, I mean, you're going to try to stop the earth from rotating. No, you're not. You're going to try to stop gravity. No, you're not. It works for everybody. And these principles that are right there in God's word, uh, they work for anyone. So you Christian, true believer in Jesus Christ and covenant with God Almighty, how much more should you be, be utilizing these things? How much more should you be using it and getting blessed? But Jesus told the Pharisees, you're not entering into the kingdom and the, all the blessings of God. You're not, and you hinder those that want to. So that's religious teaching. Pharisees, Sadducees, Herodians, they were teaching the, the, the Bible, but, but, but by their own deception and controlling people, controlling God, and they would not enter in. And there are forms of godliness that deny the power. There's doctrines of demons. You better watch it. Get out of it. Get in the truth, which right there in the Bible, and you need the Holy Spirit of truth to lead you, God, you into all truth. The truth sets you free from steal, kill, destroy, from black, from poverty, from, from, from sickness and disease and confusion and sin and, and, and strife and, and <clears throat> trying to save yourself. People that are trying to save themselves and make up their own righteousness and not submit to the righteousness of God, they're, they're mean. They're easily offended. They're, they're hard to get along with. They're, 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 uh, they're wrong, you know? So, so don't do that. Don't do that. Get in the Lord, get in the God almighty and, um, let him bless you. Let him bless you. I'm telling you, get in there, get in God, let him bless you. Let him bless you. And, um, he wants to, Jesus paid the price for it. Don't let religious deception and religious pride and the your, your, your religious bias. Oh, you're not in our denomination. We don't like you. We won't even listen to you. You're not in our church and our group. We're not going to listen to you. Our leader said you're bad. Really? They're teaching the truth. You know, people put down the prosperity teaching. It's right there in the Bible and you need it. You need it. <clears throat> you need it. The same dumb idiots that put down or, or speak against prosperity teachers and preachers and, and the prosperity message, the damn Southern Baptists have, has, they, they, they falsely accuse it they say it's a doctrine of demons, the Southern bastard abomination. I mean, Southern Baptists, but even the assemblies of God, a lot of people that claim to be uh, uh, Pentecostal or charismatic, they even say, oh yeah, that's bad. That's no good. Really? It's, it's, it's right there in the Bible, you idiot. Open the concordance and look, just do a study on prosperity. And I, and, and I challenge you, show me that it's wrong. Yet these same people that say it's wrong, they, 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 they're going, oh, let's sell some cakes. Let's have a fundraiser. Let's do this and that. We need money. If you don't want prosperity, go out there and be a Hindu, live in a cardboard box like a homeless, and, and just be real. See, you hypocrite, you liar, you're double-minded, you're schizo, schizophrenic about it. So come on, wake up, stupid people. Get in prosperity. The, the Christians should be the richest people on earth so they could do good stuff with the money, you dumb idiots. The Christians should be the wealthiest people on earth so they could do good <clears throat> with the money instead of evil people using money to, to help the devil. You should be the richest people on earth to help God's purpose. Hello, my God, whatever. Anyway, this is the best teaching preaching you've ever heard. Look at our website, calledbeyond.com, calledbeyond.com. Become a partner. Help us do more. We're winning souls. We're making disciples. We're helping the body of Christ. We're blessing the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Help us do more, and, uh, you know, God will bless you. So callbeyond.com. Be in touch. God bless you.